Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are doing well and I'm back with another build guide for Ark Survival Evolved. This time we're building a really basic water tower, unmodded, and this place will feed your whole greenhouse on the island map or any of the other free DLCs. Not so much on Scorched or Aberration, but if you're sick and tired of pipe work, working all the way up the cliff from the water source and you've built away from a water source then this is the guide for you. So we've just come over here I've just placed a couple of the tanks down that we can use. Now starting off you can use the stone tank it only holds 200 water so this is better done with the metal tank that can hold 500 and if you look at the crop pots the small one only takes 200 to be full whereas the largest one takes 600 to be fully irrigated. And if you bear in mind that when it rains on the island map, it fills up the entire crop pot plus your water tank as well. This build will feed a whole greenhouse with at least six of the big crop pots placed down. Okay, so it's not so difficult this build, but it does have a couple of tricks involved. So we're going to start by placing some wooden pillars down. And we want to go five high. It doesn't look quite right if you do it with four. So the difficult part is in fact reaching up to the top. Now sometimes you can jump and get this last one on the top. I'll see if I can do it, but I think I'm on a bit of a slope. Oh, I sort of saw a clip up there before, but if you can't get to the top, just put one in the middle, like the so, and we'll grab a ladder and uh, try and get onto the top. Just put them in my bar. Just make sure the ladder's on the outside. And we actually only need the one. Actually, I don't need that one. Save resources. And the quicker you can get this done, then the more chance you have of getting the uh, ceiling and the ladder back. So five high with the ceiling on top, like so. We can definitely get our ladder back at seven seconds but I think we lost our ceiling never mind okay let's just get our ladders on the outside there's a couple of clipping points there you don't want to clip it on the middle you need to clip it on the outside and one more and we should be able to jump onto that just grab our ceilings and I do 33 fence foundations. I don't need that many. And they're fence posts. I always get them to mixed up. Um, have I got some fence posts ready to go? I have. So we need the fence foundations here in order to get the pillars to clip onto the outside rather in the middle as it is doing here. So we need three more ceilings. Fortunately, I had an extra one because we wasted one. So we can go out on a square of four with that one pillar attached. And we need to go around the outside with our foundations. There's a few clipping points here. Let's try to clip onto that post in the middle. So we'll try going around the other side here and here just because there's too many snap points there at the moment and one more will do it now we can place our wooden pillars in the corners oh. where are the wooden pillars here we go So allowing them fence posts allows you to clip onto the outside and it's the same trick that I do with my building. Often when I'm building houses we put pillars on the outside. Now I've put that all the way down to the bottom. I don't think I can get to the pillar from outside here but if we remove... No I can't, I'm going to leave the ladder. If we remove this pillar, the other pillar will now be gripping onto all of these ceilings so we're fine to remove it now. There you go, everything's still standing. So we'll just get rid of this. 
And I don't know if I can jump and get that one, but I'll get rid of that and I'll put the other three wooden pillars around the outside. Just like this. Okay, there we go, looking good. So we've managed to get all of the pillars around the outside of our ceiling there. And now we're going to grab the triangle ceilings. So since they introduced these triangles, you can come up with some different effects. And we just lay them down on top here, like a bit of a pizza. We can have our rounded tub. And what do you know? It's raining. I might not notice, but it does rain quite often on the island map. So if you decided to build up high, don't worry, you don't need to run all the pipe work down. And this will actually feed an industrial cooker quite well if you have four or five of these big tanks. Can't do loads of cooking, but it's certainly enough to take care of your garden and quite a bit of cooking for your kibble. I'll grab onto you. There we go. So now you can see we've got quite a few clipping points. I like to flip it around the outside like I flipped it back. But on PC when you find your clipping point, if you just press E you can flip the wood around the outside and I prefer it to be on the outside. I think it gives it a, just a a little different texture Ooh. we have that on the outside just flip that round like so unfortunately I don't think I'm going to get my reservoirs down in time to catch this rain like I say it does rain quite often carry on going around the outside here I say since the introduction of the triangle pieces you can come up with some uh, different builds that are definitely not square so experiment with it but I say this build is more practical and it will serve a purpose and I'll just leave that for now because we don't want to lock ourselves in so in order to place one of the reservoirs down all you need to do is stick a pipe down on the floor first and then it will clip to it in this case we're going to use the cross intersection so we can fit four or five water tanks on okay so i'm just going to eyeball this i think that's roughly about the middle mm, oh i might have just clipped that tank onto the outside can i squeeze around here to look see if it looks stupid um, I think it's only just clipping through. Oh, yeah, I'm not so sure you can really tell from down here. That's okay, you can get yours a bit closer. That happens. Of course, now they've integrated S. Plus. You get three minutes to pick these things up. I don't know if I can still. Uh, I waited too long. So we'll just carry on. Hopefully, the rest don't sort of clip into the wood four of these and I'm going to put a fifth one on as well. Can I get over the top? No, you're not going to let me are you? Uh, I could take the walls out but it's probably not necessary if I use one of the vertical pipes like this and then just need a, I need to get another water tank. Okay and there we go. Oh, let's just put a fifth one on as well. You could put another couple of pipes in different directions get you know five or six of these going even build this six pillars high and use the walls at three high would still look quite good proportionately now unfortunately you can't actually put a roof on this otherwise it won't actually collect the water otherwise I'd put a triangle roof on as you'd see with most water towers kind of have that roof where a lot of them do the more modern yeah. ones there we go. So we've got plenty of water towers. We need some fences just around the outside. Just grab 
those. Just one more. You could use elevator tracks going up the side of these pillars as well to create a more of a metal effect if you wanted or also giving anything a lick of paint always makes it stand out. But the important trick here is using the fence foundations in order to clip these posts to the outside and the triangle ceilings in order to give you that different angle to make a more rounded top. Now I'm just going to use a straight pipe but if you use the inclined one you can get it so it kind of clips near the post and, and follows the wooden post down so it doesn't sort of clip out like this but I'm just going to so if I'd use the vertical one, this one here, but I'll just grab a stone pipe. Doesn't really matter if you use stone or metal for this. And when you put a water tap on the end, it's not like the water is actually constantly leaking out. It's just to show you that there is water in the tank. It's only when you drink from it does it actually bring the tank down. And on your bar you'll have water from 1 to 100, so if you're halfway full, through you'll just take 50 points out of your water tank. So we just need to wait for that to fill up. So there you have it, that's my easy to follow along water tower build. No more pipes up the side of cliffs. This build is big enough to be able to feed your whole greenhouse and do a little bit of cooking with. Obviously aberration is a different kettle of fish, there's no weather system in there so you have to think of some other ideas and I have some other ideas. If you'd like to see more then don't forget to like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of that build. But there you go, now you can tidy up all of your pipe works across the beach and bring your water source to a water tower. Until next time though, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.